So I've seen some requests for how to mask characters, and I have a number of tutorials on masking, and I will link to those, but I figure why not do a couple more, and then I can show you a couple other effects that you can do, like shadowing, outlining, and this has a feathered edge. So all you're gonna do is grab a circle, and in my first one, right here, I just used a color gradient. First, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do Command D to duplicate this. And I'm going to rename one of those mask. And the other one is going to be the background. Then I'm going to go up to my studio and let's just grab Emma since I'm gonna use her for the jumping in, we might as well just keep it consistent. Let's have her waving. She's in the circle. And the background, what I did with my first one is I just went up to the color. I used radial. And then I just changed some colors. That's really all I did. Um, and then I put one in the middle. I don't know. Yeah, not so pretty. But you get the idea. You would be able to play around with that. I think. This looked better. I'm not sure it's a look I would go for, but I wanted to show how you could do other things. So I am going to then select Emma in the background, group it. I do Command G. You can right click and group. Then I'm going to select both the group and the mask. Right click, mask. There you go. Now she's in there waving and only the part of her that is in the mask is showing. Then I just went to shadow and added a shadow if you wanted to come out a little bit. So that's one of the ways that you can do it. I'm gonna make her a little smaller. Then we can do Emma jumping in. So that means that She's not in the circle, not in the scene, and then she jumps in from off the screen. So let's take Emma again, and I am going to have her jump in and wave. And then I will have her waving. So I have her coming in from this side. I had her coming from the right before, but you, and you can do that if you want to flip her, but it doesn't matter. You don't have to. You can do it from whatever side you want. What I want to do is make sure that where she's coming in is going to match with the circle. So that's not going to look so good. So I'm going to move her over a little bit. And that will be so when she's jumping in, I'm gonna move her a little bit. We may have to adjust that a little, but we will see. Now we need a background, right? This is gonna be the mask. So I'm gonna duplicate that again. I actually, I don't actually have to for this one. Let me delete that and show you why I don't have to do that. I'm going to go over to my backgrounds and I know that this was office and it was from one of our earlier versions. There it is. Now I have my design studio, but it's over Emma. So I have to move that on my timeline. Now I want to resize this to fit into the circle. And we can adjust that after it's in there, but let's just see how that looks. Now, the reason I deleted the other background is I don't need that because I have the background I just imported. So I select Emma and the design background, right click and group or Command G. And then I select the group and the mask, right click and mask group. So let's see how Emma looks. Well, she, I actually think I might have placed her pretty well. What I did with this one is then I selected the image. 
I went over to Effects and Components, scale, um, scrolled down to Edge Feather, dropped it on my group, and then I can just add a little feather if you want. You don't have to, but it gives a little bit less of a harsh edge to the circle. So that's how you would do the character jumping in. And now let's create this one where she reaches outside of the mask, but not on the bottom. So for this, I chose a rectangle because with the circle, it can be hard. It will skew the whole thing. So I'm just going to put this rectangle here. I am going to get the game arcade. I just put casino in there, drag and drop it. Then I need to resize it a little bit. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to duplicate my rectangle, Command D. I am going to select the background and one of the rectangles, right click and mask. So now I have this masked. I might move this around a little so you can click and drag. So what did I do there? I just clicked on that, double clicked, then I can grab it outside the mask and move it around. Then what I'm going to do is, for this I actually, I'll show you right now, I used the border for this. So I don't remember how big the border was. Let's make it 10. I think I used black, but you can use any color you want. And then you have a border around the uh, background, the images. I was trying to think of slot machines, game machines, game arcade. All right, now I'm going to get Lenka. And I'm going to have Lenka outside of the rectangle. I had celebrating with trophy only because that really brought her outside of the mask, outside of the background, so I chose that. Then what did I do? Did I have waving? I did something after that, just so that she had a transition to something. Now what I'm going to do is I have this other rectangle that I did. I'm going to select that for the mask, pull my shift key down, select Lenka, then right click mask. Now she's there, but she's messed up. <laughs> her her um, head is cut off, her hand is cut off. So this is when we have to play with the mask. I am going to select Lenka, then I'm going to go over here. You won't see this panel over here unless you select her. Detach the mask. And now I can click and drag to bring out where she comes outside the mask. Don't forget to reattach the mask. And I think, let's see, I do have to make the background a little longer. Yeah, I might put her down a little bit more or even make her a little bit bigger so we don't see all that foot action, I don't know. You can do whatever you want. But notice, did you notice right there when I made her bigger, this is cutting off, easy to fix. Select her, detach the mask, and just give it some more room. Then you're all set, don't forget to reattach. And those are the three ways that you can do the masking of the characters. If you want to add another character, you can have more than one character. Let's just add one here. We can add, um, and you can do this before or even like right now where we're thinking about it. Let's just put the baby in the background. I'm not even sure if this is going to um, I want the baby to be behind Emma and the baby can be waving as well. Let's see if the baby is even in the shot. <laughs> yeah, well, the baby's in the shot right there. 
I guess I didn't do too bad. But clearly that didn't work at the end. But you can add anything in there after you do that. So those are three ways. I will link to the other mask tutorials. And there's also a free giveaway with the character outside of the frame of a phone. And that will still be open until the end of February that you can download that if you want. It was a giveaway and that was what people had voted for. So if you want to just have that already made for you, go to my description page and you can download it. You do need all access pass to be able to import projects, but it's yours if you want it. Have fun.